Good afternoon. I've got a 19 pound brisket on and I did something different today. I seasoned it. Um, I usually mix my seasoning um, and it's a little different each time. Today I did uh, it was pepper, salt, um, some mixed seasonings that um, include thyme and rosemary, some, some other things as uh, well as some smoked peppers. They go in there. But this time some curry and some pimento so it's got a little bit of a uh, yellowish coloration on it this brisket's been in for three hours now I just spritzed it a little bit there and uh, we'll see how this is gonna go it's gonna be on probably until about 10 or 11 this evening and um, then I'll wrap it check back in later so it is nine o'clock we are sitting at 171 degrees it's looking good I'll probably spritz that right now um, I also while I've been doing this I got some jalapenos in the smoker to make the next round of chipotle as well as a variety of different habaneros, scotch bonnets, and there's a few ghosts in there too, peppers. I'm going to go ahead and spritz this again, get this back in. It is not ready for me to pull out and wrap and stick in the warmer, but it's getting there. So I'll spritz this and check in later. All right, let's see how this thing is doing. It's pretty close to a good temperature. I don't want to see how tender it is. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. See how easy that's going in there? Oh, yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> I'm going to let it go just a tad more. And then we're going to take this puppy out and get it into the food warmer for a nice overnight warming. All right, this is uh, ready to go into the food warmer. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm taking some tallow that I've been making. Whenever I do a brisket, I end up making tallow. And I, uh, I do smoke that huh? so that just means that I take that beef fat, stick it on the smoker. And I just let it, I let it um, take in the smoke and then I put it in the refrigerator. So what I do, I put the uh, tallow down, I go to wrap this. And place the brisket right on top of it. What I'm going to do is wrap this up just like that. for 13, 14 hours or so. Go ahead downstairs and deal with that. 
So this is the food warmer that I use. And uh, as a VVOR, I picked this up. And this, when you stick your brisket in one of these puppies, it um, allows that that fat to continue to break down overnight. I did not take this up to 204, this brisket. I took this brisket up to about 195, 196. And the rest of that work is gonna be done inside the warmer overnight. It's gonna sit in there just like this. I'm gonna close this off and it's going to keep the temperature um, no lower, or should I say no higher than 147. I'll probably take that down to 145. Um, that's so that as it's adjusting constantly, um, the, the heater will turn off and the temperature will drop and then it'll kick back on. I don't want it to get below uh, 140, so I'll probably take that down. Whoops. Yeah, I'll take it to 145. Leave it there overnight. And check back in tomorrow. So I just pulled this out of the warmer. And it's ready to, to cut up. And it seems very tender. Again, this is the first time I've done this with um, Caribbean spices. We're going to see how this came out. I'll cut it up in a second. So I just cut, cut through this and it's got some nice juicy profile to it. I'm going to slice this up and see how those Caribbean spices came out. So the brisket came out good. Just finished the meal. Um, talk a little bit about, tell you a little bit about what I seasoned it with. Um, so when I typically, or actually most of my stuff, I usually just mix the spices. I don't usually use a mixed spice unless I have no time then I would do it but I usually um, will use like the Mrs. well this dash seasoning here and it doesn't have any salt in it I don't like using the ones with salt in it because you can very easily over salt it so I use this um, and then I use uh, my own salt put my own salt in there um, sometimes it's this salt sometimes it's um, uh, pink Himalayan salt doesn't really matter um, I typically use chipotle that I make and I make that out of um, jalapenos that I grow and I mix those oh, I should have moved this over here that's actually what it turns into um, I use a granulated garlic I sometimes use onion powder um, this time I did something different and I put pimento or allspice and some curry into the seasoning so that's also in here. I don't usually do that. It was just really a test to see how that would come out. Interestingly, you could barely taste the um, pimento or allspice. And I lost the um, curry altogether. Maybe one of the next times I do this, what I'll do is I will grind this all up and actually inject it into it so you can actually get some of that flavor. I think what happened is it just burned it all off. The outside of it it was a really tender um, brisket and so all that gets mixed into this and um, like I labeled it probably the first time I did it it's not always spicy um, this one wasn't that spicy either and I sprinkle it down and on the smoker it goes um, sometimes I'll throw some additional spices in there as well um, I have a number of different spices in my spice cabinet that I will use. Um, I also use smoked paprika sometimes. Um, a lot of different spices up there. So that's what I use. Brisket came out fine. It was a 19 point something pound brisket uh, and it came out really well. Gonna have um, a variety of different brisket meat dishes next probably week or so. See you soon.